the nation's largest nuclear power plant sits in the middle of the desert, about an hour west of Phoenix. The Palo Verde nuclear generating station is nowhere near a large body of water, and yet it uses around 26 billion gallons of water per year. Now, the facility is trying to reduce its use of wastewater. Water is critical for keeping the largest nuclear generating station in the country running. Behind me is the Palo Verde nuclear generating station. And that's not smoke you're seeing, it's water vapor. 42,000 gallons per minute are evaporated into the atmosphere from this plant alone. That was on the day we visited, but that number can climb even higher depending on the time of year. In the winter, we can use up to 40,000 gallons per minute, and that makes up for the evaporation rate of the cooling towers at the nuclear plant. In the summer, it's more, it's up to 60,000 gallons per minute. The water is used to cool the plant. Heat is converted from nuclear reactions into electricity. The boiling water created by the steam is then cooled and condensed. Treated wastewater is used to do this. It comes mostly from the 91st Avenue Sewage Treatment Facility. But those like Sandy Barr believe using wastewater isn't enough. Utilities, you know, say, well, okay, we're using the treated wastewater, like somehow it's not a big deal that it's using so much water. But treated wastewater can be used for all kinds of other things, uh, and including habitat restoration. So uh, it is water that is not available for other uses. The growing competition over wastewater is one reason why Palo Verde is exploring other water options. They have partnered with Sandia Labs, a national nuclear research and development laboratory in New Mexico, and have found even dirtier water to use. The other water sources that we've been looking at are poor quality groundwater sources that come from the Buckeye waterlogged area. Uh, groundwater is high in salt and high in minerals. However, we are able to use some of that water instead of effluent because of the tertiary treatment system that we have here at Palo Verde. The plant is also looking at developing more advanced cooling technology. The current target is to reduce wastewater by 20%. Right now we use about 75,000 acre feet of water every year. That equates to about 26 billion gallons of water. If we can save 20% of that, uh, that's a huge savings, not only in water, but a huge savings in terms of cost. Palo Verde plans to start using this dirtier water within the year. We plan on this year being able to start pumping water. We have funding uh, and sightings for the wells. We just need approval from the, from the state, and we're working with the state and the farmers in the area to work through issues and get that, get that in place. Palo Verde will continue its partnership with Sandia Labs as they work to develop their other technologies to increase conservation efforts. In the newsroom, Madison Staten, Cronkite News.